Hey growers, welcome back to Hydrohaven, your go-to space for smart gardening strategies that actually work, whether you're growing food in your backyard or tending to a few precious beds on your urban homestead. Today we're diving deep into one of the most crucial aspects of successful gardening, soil fertility. Because here's the thing, healthy soil is the heartbeat of every thriving plant. Without it, you're not gardening, you're guessing. So, if you've ever stood over your garden beds wondering why your veggies are stunted, your flowers just won't bloom, or your harvest is half what you expected, chances are, the soil is trying to tell you something. Let's fix that. In this guide, I'll show you 10 real impactful ways to improve soil fertility, followed by 7 powerful plants that actually enhance soil quality just by growing in it. Ready to turn your soil into a powerhouse of life? Let's get right into it. Every farmer and gardener should get comfortable with the concept of feeding the soil, not just the plants. Organic matter, like compost, aged manure, or leaf mold, does exactly that. When you add organic material, you're introducing a buffet of nutrients and beneficial microbes. These microscopic allies break down the matter into forms your plants can absorb. Plus, it helps with moisture retention, improves drainage, and gives soil that rich, crumbly texture every grower dreams of. Cover crops aren't just for large-scale farms. Even a small plot can benefit from growing crops like rye, clover, or vetch during the off-season. These crops do two major things. They prevent erosion and add organic nitrogen into the soil. Once the season turns, simply chop them down and let them decompose right into the soil. It's like adding slow-release fertilizer straight from nature. Tilling might seem like a necessary evil, but it's often more harmful than helpful. Repeated tilling breaks down soil structure and disrupts the web of life under the surface. By switching to no-till or low-till gardening, you're allowing beneficial fungi, worms, and microbes to thrive and naturally build fertile soil over time. You'll be amazed at how loose, dark, and alive your soil becomes. Think of compost tea as a probiotic for your soil. It's packed with microbial life that boosts plant health and strengthens root systems. Brew your own by soaking finished compost in water for a day or two, then apply it directly to the soil or as a foliar spray. This keeps your garden alive with microscopic action that translates to visible results. Even the most fertile-looking soil can be depleted of minerals. That's where rock dust comes in. Basalt, glacial, or granite dust add a broad spectrum of trace minerals that help with root development, photosynthesis, and overall plant vigor. Use it sparingly, it's potent, and always mix it into your compost or topsoil. Fertility is more than nutrients, it's about availability. If your soil is too acidic or too alkaline, plants won't be able to access what's already there. Most vegetables thrive in a pH range between 6.0 and 7.0. Get a soil test done and make gentle corrections using lime to raise pH or sulfur to lower it. Balanced pH unlocks fertility like a key in a lock. Growing the same crop in the same place year after year leads to nutrient depletion and soil fatigue. Crop rotation breaks pest cycles, rebalances nutrients, and keeps your soil biologically diverse. Follow a simple system. Leafy greens one year, root crops the next, then legumes, then fruiting plants. Your soil gets a rest and your yields improve. Mulching is like laying a protective blanket over your soil. It keeps moisture in, blocks weeds, and breaks down slowly to feed the soil below. Use straw, shredded leaves, bark chips, or even grass clippings. As the mulch decomposes, it becomes part of the soil ecosystem, contributing to long-term fertility and structure. Worms are nature's underground tillers. They aerate the soil, break down organic matter, and leave behind castings that are nutrient-rich gold. Encourage worms by keeping your soil moist, mulched, and free of synthetic chemicals. Add a few crushed eggshells to the soil to give them grit to work with. Quick fixes have long-term consequences. Synthetic fertilizers might green up your plants today, but they can strip your soil of organic matter, kill beneficial microbes, and create toxic salt buildups. Instead, focus on slow-release natural options like worm castings, kelp meal, bone meal, or fish emulsion. These not only feed your plants, they feed the soil too. Now that we've laid the foundation with good soil practices, let's talk about something a little magical. Plants that improve soil just by growing. That's right. There are certain species that act like living fertilizers, fixing nitrogen, breaking up compacted earth, and drawing up nutrients from deep in the ground. 
here are seven of our favorite soil enriching champions that you should absolutely plant. Sunflowers aren't just pretty faces, their deep tap roots break through compacted soils and pull nutrients like calcium and potassium to the surface. When those tall stalks die back, chop them into the soil and let the cycle continue. They also attract pollinators and beneficial insects that keep your garden thriving. Marigolds do more than deter nematodes and aphids. They also add biomass and a mild boost of nutrients to your soil when turned under at the end of the season. Their pungent oils suppress bad microbes and create a healthier underground environment for future crops. Alfalfa grows fast, fixes nitrogen like a champ, and sends down roots that improve soil structure. It's often used as a cover crop or green manure. After a few weeks, cut it down and let it decompose in place. Alfalfa also makes an excellent addition to compost piles, speeding up the breakdown process. Peas, like all legumes, fix nitrogen in the soil with the help of root-dwelling bacteria. Grow them in early spring, harvest the pods, and then cut the plants at soil level. Leave the roots in place to feed the next generation of crops. This is a perfect rotation crop after heavy feeders like tomatoes or corn. Clover's low-growing nature makes it perfect as a ground cover or companion plant. It prevents erosion, fixes nitrogen, and crowds out weeds. White clover especially thrives in tight spots and shady edges, giving even the least used parts of your garden a soil-boosting upgrade. Though often seen as a weed, milk thistle has an incredible ability to grow in poor soil and pull nutrients from the depths. It's particularly helpful in revitalizing compacted or lifeless areas. Just be sure to cut it back before it seeds, unless you want a whole field of it. Lupine combines form and function with its nitrogen-fixing roots and stunning flowers. It's ideal for rejuvenating tired flower beds or borders. As it grows, it partners with soil bacteria to enrich the ground, making it easier for other plants to thrive in the seasons to come. So there you have it, 10 powerful ways to boost your soil's fertility and 7 plants that naturally improve soil health just by doing their thing. Whether you're working a large homestead or a handful of raised beds, these strategies work. They're timeless, proven, and accessible to every grower who wants better harvests and healthier plants without relying on chemicals. If this guide helped you think differently about your soil, don't forget to subscribe to Hydro Haven for more hands-on, no-fluff gardening wisdom. Share this video with a fellow grower who's struggling with poor soil. We're all in this together. Your garden is only as good as the soil beneath it. Treat it well, and it'll feed you for life. See you in the next one, and as always, keep growing smarter.